Now, with John and Dave really working around the clock and making sure that Star Wars is going to go back to its roots that were created by George Lucas and the vision of Star Wars and the philosophy of the franchise and what it really stands for, a lot of fans are very optimistic about what John and Dave are currently doing with Mando 3 and 4, as well as the Ahsoka series, which, by the way, are going to be treated as one big story before they move on to the next phase. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the future of the franchise is that Given that John and Dave are very much invested in reviving legends and taking a lot of stories from the books and the comics and using that in the form of live action, that really does tell us that there really is a light at the end of the tunnel here when it comes to Star Wars. Now, given that there are a lot of other things being put into the equation for the franchise, actor Pedro Pascal has been very busy working with Favreau and Filoni on Mando Season 3. As we speak right now, they are still doing additional filming. I mean, they are in post-production, but they're also doing additional filming to lengthen some of the episodes, and that could very well have to do with the fact as to why they delayed the series from November to December of this year all the way until February. And it's going to be interesting to see on whether or not they will be delaying the show even further. But I digress. What's even all the more you know, concerning is what's been going on between now Pedro Pascal and Jon Favreau as creative differences are arising. Now, with that being said, all right, of course, with actor Pedro Pascal now getting ready to begin work on The Mandalorian Season 4 with John and Dave, he has been having many issues with Lucasfilm over a specific Star Wars project that is actively in the works. Now, it's described that as of right now, Pedro Pascal is very angry and frustrated with Lucasfilm's treatment for Din Djarin's return in The Mandalorian 4. Now, it's noted that Jon Favreau is creating a major plan to make Din Djarin Force-sensitive in the fourth season of Mando, and Pedro Pascal is said to be having some extreme issues with this direction for the character in the upcoming season. Now, so far, both Favreau and Filoni are very passionate on expanding the story of Din Djarin to dive more into the mystery and new revelations related to him, one of which is by making him Force-sensitive and even having a scene of himself training with Luke Skywalker that is already pre-planned. In fact, one of the storyboards already features a scene in which Din Djarin is seen inside of Luke Skywalker's second Jedi Temple on Yavin 4 that is inspired from Star Wars Legends training with the dark saber with Luke Skywalker's guidance. This is something that Pedro is angry about with Jon Favreau right now for The Mandalorian 4, as he believes that Luke is going to take away the limelight from his character in the upcoming series. So let me just pause here quickly for a second. Now, I don't know if you guys ever wondered to yourselves on exactly how in the world did Din Djarin find Grogu on Asus. Now, Asus is the location of Luke's Jedi Temple as seen in the Book of Boba, and a lot of fans really began wondering, how did Din Djarin locate Grogu, the destination of where he was training with Luke Skywalker, etc. This could very well be the answer to just that, since John and Dave have this big plan all mapped out for Mando 4 to make him Force-sensitive. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, I have zero issues with him becoming force sensitive. In fact, I think that it is something that has been coming as we have seen something like that where he finds Grogu on Asus, magically speaking, or he's training with the dark saber, that could very well have something to do with it as well. And that's something that Dave and John are going to be expanding on. So moving past this, all right, the fact that Pedro is having a lot of problems with the fact that John and Dave are going to be doing that to the character, Pedro believes that this is going to destroy his character. I don't know about what you guys have to say about this. I would love to hear your input below in the comments on whether or not you believe that making Din Djarin Force-sensitive is going to completely wreck the character or not. Now, I don't know about you too, but I think that this all depends. You know, it all depends on how far 
they are going to go with that force sensitive story. Are they going to make him basically a modern version of Tara Vizsla, who is both a Jedi and a Mandalorian? Who knows? They could go that route, but I don't think they'll go that extreme. It seems more likely that they're going to have Din Jaren meddling with the Force a little bit and learning the ways of the Force temporarily to show that he's Force sensitive and to show that there's more to the character than him just being a Mandalorian per se. And who knows what avenues they're going to go. Now, moving past all of this, Pedro is already demanding Jon Favreau to get rid of the scene entirely and the storyline of Din becoming Force sensitive and that Pedro fears that this is going to destroy his character and the uniqueness of Din Djarin. Favreau is said to still be moving ahead with his plans for Mando 4 and Filoni is as well, as it will serve as a big piece for future Mando seasons after season 4 to help build the world of the Mandoverse greatly. Now, Pedro is still on board to stay with Season 4, but is having big creative issues with John and Dave's direction as Pedro is very protective of his character. By all means, none of this is personal. You know, Pedro is having no personal issues with John and Dave. He's just very frustrated and angry over the fact that they are taking this approach with transforming Din Djarin into something completely different. Now, obviously, if John has a plan to expand all the way to Mando 6, as he actually teased a couple of weeks ago, we talked about this, of how Jon Favreau would love to end the series at a Mandalorian season six. He's already working on four. So that's a lot of material to keep the story going, right? And he wants to actually explore different revelations, different reveals to actually boost the excitement level. And I think that this could really work. I do. I think that if they execute it well, and if they put things in the right path, making him force sensitive, it could work if you don't overdo it too much. Do I believe that, you know, Din Djarin's going to be waving a lightsaber around or anything around those lines? I highly doubt that. I think that what they are doing is that they're going to have him, like I say, meddle with the force, maybe, you know, lift a couple of rocks or train to use the dark saber properly through the ways of the force. Maybe it could be something like that. I, I don't believe you're going to have him, you know, becoming a Jedi or anything like that. But it's very possible that they could make him both a Mandalorian and somewhat of a Jedi, I guess you could say. Making him a modern version of Tar Vizsla would be rather poetic. I think it would be very great to do something like that. But anyways, I digress. The thing about this too that I think a lot of fans need to be aware of is the fact that Pedro Pascal is very protective over Din Djarin for several reasons, and we've gone over that before in the past. And when you look at it in this sense, Favreau and Filoni are still moving forward with these plans. I don't believe that Luke will steal the limelight away from Din in a scene where he's training him. I highly doubt that, because here you have Din using the Darksaber as well while Luke is guiding him on how to use it properly and use it through the ways of the Force. So it's gonna be interesting to say the least. So anyways guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.